What's going on, YouTube? We here on this blessed day that the Lord has created. And today I'm going to put you on a little game about mastering. You know, I know a lot of people want to get their own, they own little techniques for mastering, you know. Because it costs money to master. And, and if you know how to do it, what a way to beat that. So, all right, let me first get you set up for mastering, all right? So now when you record, you want to make sure, man, you're um, recording the best quality you can. You know what I'm saying? 48 uh, kilohertz. I'm going to show you right here. For a sample rate of 48,000 kilohertz in a bit depth of 24 bit, you know, not 16, but 24 and if your program can't do 24, 9 times out of 10, it's not a professional studio. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you can't use it, but, I mean, just work, do your best, work with what you got. You know, because uh, the program Acid Music Studio is not the same as Acid Pro Studio. You know, Acid Pro is for professionals, and, you know, though they do the same thing, the professional studio has... Um, has mastering features like like that you know you know this is the best quality you can record at 48,000 kilohertz and 24 bit remember that all right so all right we got our uh our song here step into the light and we just gonna uh, i'm gonna just show you you know it's already uh mixed down i haven't mixed uh you know so that's what you want to do. Make sure you got everything nice, cut, and clean. You know, uh, ready for the master suite. Okay, we got our plugins on here. We got an FX chain, an equalizer chain, you know, a compressor, and we got a stereo, stereoizer. All right. Let's take a listen to that. So you hear that right there? That's what we got. You know. And you know, we our voice is nice and clean, EQ'd out, you know. And like I say, you wanna make sure you cut cut all those frequencies under here. I, I got the cut uh, at 170, you know. All that's not needed back there. You know it's not needed. It's just, and this is only on your on your vocal tracks. You know, not the master track. You don't cut that far. One seventy on the master track. You just cut it on your EQ track. So all right, all right. So basically, we got everything cleaned up here, and let's move into getting into the master. And so when you're ready to master, everything's everything's on. Everything's ready to go. You like the finished product of it. Everything sound good. This is what you would do. You don't do anything on the master chain up in here. You leave it how it is. You just let it go, but then you're going to render it. And when you're rendering it, you're going to just put it in a separate file. Don't, don't render MP3. Don't do that. Render a WAV file. Because the wave file, it won't compress your, uh, your 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 sound. You don't want to compress it, you know. Uh, that that has a lot to do with sound quality of a lot of music. So we're going to render it in the same thing we recorded it at for as of now. So we're going to render it at a 48 kilohertz, for 48,000 kilohertz, or 48,000 hertz in a 24-bit stereo PCM. All right? That's what we're going to render it at. All right, and we begin rendering. We render. All right. I already got a file set up, so I can just go to it. And 
this is what we have right here and you can see as you can see my peak levels aren't too high you know because you don't want you don't want to that's another thing when you're mat when you're uh, setting up for master your mix track your your mix down track you don't want that at a high value you know make sure that's like six decibel below the the master or below the zero below the zero uh db meter and here right here this is the meter where you know if it's below zero uh db meter you know so make sure make sure you keep this at a zero you know when you're mixing down and all your tracks you know just if you have to cut them down just cut them down all together highlight them all and cut them down you don't want you don't want a too loud mix because mastering you're going to bring up your value so that's what most people want anyway um all right so we're in the master chain we got our uh our overall lay down this is the overall song right here let's check it out Static in a little bit. Hold on. I don't know why it's doing it. No motivation for the whole the world for every black and white. Step into the light. Let's go. All right. So now this has already been mastered. You know what I'm saying? Not everything is done on it, but I I, I most have I already uh, mostly have all the plugins I'm gonna use on it. But right right now we're just gonna deal with the equalization of your master. So all right, let's cut all these chains off right here you know and this is going to be the first thing you do when you master you're going to equalize it you know what i'm saying are uh, you see i'm in the equalizer chain right now and so let's take a look at it let's let's take a listen and see what we need to fix on it click on the analyzer and you can see right here You can see right here that it's not it's not a high level right here. So we want to raise that up and we want to bring this down right here. You know, it's going over it's going over uh zero decibels. Let's let's bring it down. Let's bring our high ends up a little bit.
And I'm gonna cut a shelf. You hear the difference in that? But I'm not gonna do it that far. I'm gonna put it on 20, 25 uh, kilohertz. See, I'll put it right there. See, my low end was real high. Really, really high. Okay, let's let's take a look at it again, and we see you know, like we want to we want to have that we want to have that 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 analysis looking kind of even. You know, the high ends gonna it's gonna trail a little bit high, but it should be going like this. You know what I'm saying? The high end shouldn't be all the way down here at the bottom of the map. Shouldn't be it's too low. So I had to cut up the high ends and cut up the mids a little bit and cut down the low mids and the lows. It was too high. You know, and it was really a bassy track, you know, so and and when you're equalizing, man, the uh, uh EQ you would want to use is something like this, you know, something with uh multiple where you can make multiple insertions, you know, something with a lot of, uh, what is it called, uh, a lot of chains on it. But, I mean, if you can't, if you don't have that kind, just work with what you got, you know. Most EQs can do the job. But, uh, and you see, I, you know, you just got to listen for it. But it does you better when you have an analysis because you can see what needs to be cut down and what sounds better. So, all right. And that'll conclude this tutorial on EQing and mastering. Just keep watching the video.